Good evening. It's Monday evening, 11 minutes past 8 to be exact, 6th of the 6th, 2016. Captain's log, star date, blah blah blah. I don't know where that come from. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's been a hot day, hence why I'm topless. Yes, I am just topless, I'm not naked. Yet. <laughs> Weather's not quite hot enough for me to sit here in just my boxes. But trust me, it does happen, but I won't put the camera on unless I'm, you know, decent from the waist down. Oh, such a headache at the minute. Well, I think it's a sinus ache, but never mind. Same thing. It's part of the head. Oh. Well, that bike I got yesterday has just been sold. I've got a funny feeling the guy that bought it is just going to do the extra work I did not want to do and sell it for a bit more cash, but... Which got me thinking, why don't I do that? Because I could turn, like, 20, 30 pound bikes into 40 pound bikes and get that extra bit of cash. Um, so I have been thinking of actually um, investing in some um, spray cans and whatnot, probably black, just so I can touch up the handlebars better. Because um, doing it with a tin of paint and brush, it's cheap, but it looks cheap as well, which is why I don't charge a lot when I do that to a bike. But of course, if I take the handlebar off, or even just mask up everything and just spray the middle bit, including the stem, just to make it look tidy, it's going to have a better finish. And I can, you know, bump the price up a bit. So, you know, I just thought, well, if that's what he does, why don't I? <laughs> you know, I should quit being lazy and... Uh, perhaps put a bit more effort into it. Oh well, um... I do hope Mum does a car boot this weekend. Uh, the only thing is, she works all week, and at the moment, no one wants to help her do the chores at home either. Well then again, my brother works all week as well. Oh, fuck it out. Yeah, it's sinus headache, and it's getting me right in there. And it just pulses every now and again. Or throbs. Throbs is a better word. Anyone who has ever had sinus... Yeah, my nose is a bit blocked as well. Not fully blocked, but there's a bit of a restriction there. More on that nostril. Oh, and I don't have anything for it either, apart from painkillers. Uh -huh. I actually got a f box of free paracetamol a few weeks ago. I was returning a trolley to the trolley bays at Lidl's and laying in the trolley in front of the row of trolleys in the um, trolley park, trolley bay, whatever you want to call it. Shop and cart for Americans. We call them shop and trolleys over here. Um, there was a box of paracetamol, so I just grabbed it. Brand new box. It obviously fallen out of someone's shop and at some point during the day and was left there. Hoping the hell's chance of uh, finding who it belonged to. So yeah, I've got a free box of paracetamol. Better than letting them go to waste. Whew. I've had a little quick sort of clean up in here. Nothing great. Completely cleared all the Lego table of all the crap that's not meant to be on there. Apart from that Ford Transit Transco van over there. That's an old van. Transco used to be the um, contractors for British Gas that um, you know repaired gas mains in the road and whatnot. It's National Grid now, but years ago they were. There was a company called Transco. So, I'll do 
do something with that printer. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that printer yet. I don't really need it, but it's not wireless, which doesn't matter. I can just run a USB cable from that to that. Um, and I ain't got a fucking clue what this cat's doing around me. He keeps running around the chair. <laughs> I think he's got one on. He might be pissed because I didn't give him any chicken earlier. Um, I've got two sausage rolls in there, but the reason they aren't in the fridge yet is because they're freaking hot. I went to the um, hot counter at Sainsbury's and got the last two spicy chicken thighs that were on offer. Well, I've reduced them to 60p, and when I got them, they were actually reduced to 30p, but she hadn't done the um, price label because there was only the two left, so I got these two hot and spicy chicken wings for 60 pence. Um, but they do some nice hot sausage rolls in there, so I got four, so I could have two later as well. So pretty much my dinner consisted of the two chicken thighs and two sausage rolls. So I'm just letting them ones cool before I put them in the fridge. I could put them in hot, but they do say, or I heard, that the reason you don't is because it makes the fridge work harder. So I'm just going to let them cool a bit more than I can put them in. That's what I was told, anyway. I don't know if it's true, but... Mum has always been one to let things cool right down before she puts them in the fridge. So I'd rather play it safe and let it cool. Um, I've got one of these through the letterbox. I know it's... You know, I'm not in trouble. I know it looks bad because it's red. But the postal company over here, Royal Mail, is red. That's their colour. See? Royal Mail, that looks back to front on my screen. Actually, everything looks back to front on my screen. <laughs> but uh, my road lamp I bought arrived today. But I was in bed. <laughs> um, and postmen, being postmen, they don't wait around too long. So even though I heard the knock, I knew damn well by the time I threw clothes on, this would have come through the letterbox anyway and he'd be gone. <laughs> I suppose, you know, they have a lot of mail to deliver. They don't want to be hanging around, which is fair enough. Um, but this is being stored over at the sorting office, which is literally a stone's throw away from me, behind the post office. Uh, they do keep them for um, 18 calendar days. So I assume that counts weekends as well before returning to sender if someone you know if the senders put their address on it um, I could go online and ask for it to uh, be re-delivered but the chances are I'd be at the same time in the morning and I'll be in bed so they open I don't know why they do this their opening times are weird look get this look Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. so they're open for an hour then then they close for an hour and reopen at 10 a.m. No, sorry, close for two hours. And then open at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wednesday is 7 till 8. And then again, 10 till 6. I wonder why they're open longer on a Wednesday. Close Sundays and bank holidays. Saturday, 7 a.m. till 2 p.m. See, they go right through on a Saturday. I don't understand their reasoning for that, but never mind. Yes, yeah, so well, um, I've got to take this in and something with my name and address on it, so like a utility bill or something. They don't usually care as long as it's got your name and address on it. I think it's just to prove that you come from that address. <laughs> or you know someone at that address. I think that's the reason for that, but... Yes, I'll take some. I don't always get asked. It depends who's um, serving at the counter. <clears throat> Ooh, for a full list of ID and prices. Or, or, like I said, I can schedule a re-delivery, you know, to my address or to a neighbour. Well, those are free, but there's a little charge 
to a local post office branch. Well, there's a little point in that one, because the post office branch is <laughs> around the front of the sorting office. <laughs> that would just be stupid. <laughs> right. <clears throat> yeah. Got an itchy man boob. There we go. I don't think my clock tower is going to go there. I've got to do a video on this, but I think I've decided what I'm going to do is put it at an angle in that far corner and maybe put it up on some steps or something. So it'd be like some little steps going up to it. and I may have to do that to hide the mechanism to get that to sit at an angle. But I think that would actually look quite nice up in that corner. A nice little feature up in that corner. Because um, it really doesn't look right there. That was my first spot, but it doesn't look right. And then I thought maybe in here. And I thought, no, because that's where my row of uh, seafront houses are going. And I've only got the one. That's just a cottage that I might chuck up the other end somewhere. Or just get rid of altogether. Probably get rid of it. Um... Then I thought in there, but I thought, no, I'm going to need parking and whatnot there. And I may rotate the calf as well. The calf's got to come out because I've got to take the lights out anyway. And Catzilla has knocked everything off. Which um, pretty much led me to decide on that far corner. I did think about the back there, but I think the far corner is the best spot for this. Keep in mind, this isn't like a full-size town. This is a street to a town, we'll say. Because I haven't got the room. Seriously, if I want to actually build a town, I would actually have to take out all that, all this, all that. <clears throat> and uh, pretty much just have all the, the whole centre of the room full of tables. Just to get something that would resemble a town. Which is why I uh, opted for the street. Yep, I still want to remodel this table at some point as well. Uh, got wood, I think, to make the frame with. And I can reuse a lot of the wood that's there. I just need a big enough top. <clears throat> so I want it a little bit wider so it actually goes up closer to the wall. So there isn't that big old gap there. That's what I want to do. This is a bit rickety anyway because I just threw it together as a quick table. Well the legs are rickety, I could do some better legs on it. Bloody cat. <sighs> Update on laptop. It's fucked. <laughs> to put it shortly. <laughs> um, yeah, every time I turned it on today, it just... That blank screen come up. Um, I'm pretty certain it's not a loose connection, because it does it without me touching it. Because every time it did it, all I'd done is press the on button and left it. I didn't lean on it, didn't press on it, didn't tap any keys, I just turned it on and left it. And every time that blank screen, so I'm pretty certain the video chip on it, the graphics chip, is dying. Um, so it's a parts laptop. I could try and get a motherboard for it, but that's going to cost an arm and a leg. It would actually be cheaper and probably more economical for me to get a keyboard for it. Probably that red one I've got under there. Get a few bits in. Get that one up and running for mum and uh, she can have that one. I may get some replacement plastics or even have a look on eBay later and see if I can find another one. Um, as spares repairs that I could half inch parts from this one from, should I need them? <clears throat> and that can be my late birthday present to mum. 
because um, she said the laptop I let her borrow um, won't play the um, games. But for some reason that fucker will. That advent I've got down here, which I'm going to probably stick on eBay as spares repairs at some point. I think it was that one. Yeah, yeah, that's my Windows Vista one. That wouldn't play her games either. <clears throat> but for some reason, that hunk of junk will. <laughs> <coughs> ah, excuse me. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just going to take the hard drive back out, take the memory out, take the Wi-Fi card out, because I can probably make use of that. As I've got the driver for that on um, a memory stick. <clears throat> I think. Or saved on that hard drive. I've got it somewhere. Well, I can find it anyway. It's not a problem. I'll just look up the model number of that laptop and get the driver that way. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's the plan of action. I, know she t I think the 4 gigabytes of DDR3 memory would uh, be sufficient for her. She already plays her bingo games, so nothing strenuous. No. Pardon me. Well, you fat little boogers, are you eating that bread? Yeah, pidgey, pidgey, pidgey. Wow, you can spin your tires coming out of a junction, aren't you clever? I'll never understand why people feel the need to do that. <clears throat> Maybe they're in a pissy mood and do it just to relieve some stress, I don't know. <sighs> Perhaps they're just trying to burn up some old tires. They're getting cold now. Yeah. My notifications packed up this morning. It took about three hours before they start to work as they should. Ain't that right? Just because I want to play theme hospital in a little bit, you've decided to nick my chair. <clears throat> oh dear. Well, there's two items up there I'll take to a car boot sale if mum decides to do it. I've got a camera down there I can take as well. Um, I'm just thinking. I've got these VHS cameras, but do I really want to get rid of any? loan mum something better but I just don't have it. Well I've got something better spec wise but A I use that one and B she wouldn't get on with it. <laughs> it's too slow. <laughs> and like I said I'd rather um, she use my XP for the time being and I'll build her a better one. Yes, I will. She actually came upstairs after work today, right? And was moaning at me for how much shit is laying around my flat. This is my flat. This. It does get cleared up. You've seen it cleared up. So, you guys out there know it does get cleared up, but. As quick as I clean up, I get another bike in to fix, or, you know, I'm doing something and then I end up leaving it on the floor because it's late at night, so I just leave it as it is, and before I know it, I've got tools and junk everywhere again, and I've got to have another clean up. But uh, clutter's one thing, a dirt and grime is something else, and I do actually need to uh, get in the kitchen and bathroom and sort those out. 
they are getting bad. I hate to admit. <laughs> <sighs> Oh. I saw a thing earlier today um, where Lidl's got refused permission to build a store somewhere and I was looking at the artist impression and uh, the art, an artist will always do an impression of what the buildings are going to look like and it looks almost identical to the eyesore we've got I think that's the only thing that disappointed me with Bill um, Lidl when they rebuilt our store. It was a nice brick building um, that they demolished, that they first built, you know, to fit in with the area. Then they went and built what most people described as an industrial unit, because that's what it looks like. <laughs> and that's exactly, I don't know if I can find. I might be able to find it again if you just bear with me two seconds. Is it this one? It is this one. I'm just going to bring the picture up and show you. Right. So I'm guessing stores like Lidl's must have um, like a a general plan already drawn up by whoever they employ as their architect and. Um, Tweak it to fit, you know, on whatever land they've gone and bought. Because the building shape to this is slightly different. Ours isn't just one big complete rectangle. Um, that helicopter sounds rather big and low. But the general concept is the same. Our store has the main entrance down here which is where it is on this picture um, ours isn't at that angle ours is just a square corner you know with the doors in the front here but it's exactly the same ours also has a glass front like this at the end where the road is there's nothing down here uh, ours doesn't even have fire exits there. Actually, it does. There's a fire exit up this end, but not there. Because it probably isn't as long as this one. This one looks longer. Um, and again, this one's got the um, shopping cart bay out in the car park at the same end. Except in ours, because our car park is also smaller. They've put the trolley bay further here. And then put a pedestrian across and across here. But it's generally the same sort of design. Um, and I can even see this panelling looks exactly like the one we've got in town. Well, I have to say, this car park looks better. Looks better planned. The loading bay is at the same end as well, right at the back of the store. <clears throat> so yeah, the general looks of it is the same, but like I said, they tweak it probably to fit on the land they want to build it on, but that got turned down. And actually, one of the councillors described it as an army barracks. But, uh, yeah, it's not a pretty building, is it? Go away for a minute. Oh, Stainsby's garage. Old garage. It's along the A149. Oh well. La -de -da, -de da I do like Little as a store. 
Little recalls tinned fish as labels don't warn cans may contain fish. It's tinned fish. What the fuck else is it going to be in the tin? Do they really have to label it? Are people really that thick that they would buy tinned fish? <sighs> people amaze me. It amazes me that companies actually have to put such warnings on tins. Common sense should dictate if it's a tin of tuna and tuna is a fish, then obviously it contains fucking fish. If it's a tin of sardines, sardines is a fish, so again, it contains fucking fish. They shouldn't have to put a frickin' label on the bloody tin stating it contains fish. It's like sticking a label on a fucking coconut and saying it may contain nuts. Or a bag of peanuts. It may contain peanuts. This tar may contain air. Surprised they haven't put warnings on tires that say that, you know? Warning, this device contains air under pressure. Play with it at your own risk. All right, I'm done taking a piss now. <laughs> You got a funny feeling this might be funny. That was a funny one. What's this one? <laughs> that is the sort of thing Nemo would do if he had the chance. <laughs> yep, he does that one as well. Or actually, he flicks it all over the floor. I have to keep picking it up. Little sod. A cat who gives zero sh... <laughs> He's not letting the other one sleep. This cat who can and will flush the toilet on you while you sit there, dirty butt and all. This cat who thinks he, who stink, who has to stink and isn't afraid to use it. This cat who insists you watch less TV. Nemo's done that, but thankfully not with one that I actually use, and that was actually a monitor, wasn't it? I got that on video. <laughs> this cat who would just rather you didn't with the whole self-improvement thing. Nope, mine's never done that one, not yet. I'm gonna give it time, though. This cat who learned her lesson, maybe? Scroll down, you bastard. This cat who does this to every water fountain he meets. <laughs> the Master Chef. Oh dear. That looks like that could be spaghetti bolognese all over the floor. Wrong thing, you dipstick. That's Nemo.
that last one was definitely Nemo. Oh, right. Do you think that is it? All I'm going to be doing tonight is chatting to friends online and playing theme hospital. I'm putting those sausage rolls in the fridge before I forget. And if the sinus ache gets any worse, taking some painkillers. And trying to remember where I put my um, doodah drink. Oh yeah, by the laptop. So. Thank you for watching. I'm in one of them funny moods tonight, I really am. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll uh, talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.